Well, welcome to this uh, conversation. So today I'm with Miu and Kuruna, and we're going to be talking about uh, antinatalism in Japan, which I think is going to be super um, interesting. Japan's been a country that I've like I've always been um, interested in, and hopefully I'll go someday. Um, but it is on the other side of the world, so I don't know how soon that'll be. But we've got. Um, two uh rep representatives of japan here today um so yeah we'll uh before we dive into it um if uh kuruno and miu if you could both just very briefly sort of you know introduce yourselves and uh talk about how you became antinatalist so i don't know if um if kuruno do you want to go first yeah um i'm kuruno and I'm a university student living in Japan. And since, um, since last year, I've been doing a campaign to legalize euthanasia in Japan on the internet. Um, specifically, I plan to file a lawsuit against the government within several years. So to prepare for the lawsuit, I've been collecting a lot of materials about euthanasia on the internet. And I recently posted my first video about my campaign on YouTube. Yeah, that's my brief, and that's my brief introduction. Yes. And um, hi, my name is Miyu, and I'm a doctoral student in linguistics currently studying in the UK. I run a website that aims to explore veganism and related topics from an interdisciplinary point of view. And um, I'm learning about antinatalism as a member of Antinatalism Japan. And um, yes, that's it from me. Okay, cool. That's um, that's super interesting. Uh, if, um, if it's okay with both of you, uh, at the end, if you're able to send me links to Kuruno, your video you said you uploaded, and also Miu, the um, a link to uh, the uh, website, if yes. I, did, if it's ready. Um, yes. Uh, yes, of course. It's mostly in Japanese, but yes. Well, no, that's fine. I mean, this is about antinatalism in in Japan, so you know we've got to have some Japanese stuff linked. Um, but that's yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, so I'll link both of those things. Um, so. Yeah, first, first, like question delving into this. Um, what is the general attitude towards procreation in Japan? Yeah, um, um, many people generally think it is normal to have children in their twenties or thirties, and their parents also tend to ask them to have children by. Um, by saying something like, we want to see a grandchild's face early. Yeah. Mm. And um, what are, what is the sort of uh, prevalence uh, and type of, of antinatalism in Japan, if there is any? Well, I mean, no, that, there... <laughs> I don't know why I added that last bit. That <laughs> there is, um, but yeah, what what is the sort of um, prevalence and type of antinatalism in Japan? Yeah, um, I I often see antinatalists on Twitter because I mainly such I mainly follow such people, um, but in fact, I think antinatalists are quite a minority in, in Japan, and and when it comes to the type of antinatalism in Japan, I often see people say something like, it would be better not to have been born, or procreation is a completely egoistic act only for parents who just want to fulfill their own desire. Mm. And um, I actually, um, I. Miu, I just wanted to ask you a quick question, slightly going off um, script, because uh, uh, Kirino is in um, is in Japan, but you're outside of Japan now, oh, yes. and you said that you're learning about antinatalism through. Um, I th you said the AAPJ, right? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So, what has it been like for you to learn about antinatalism 
through a sort of Japanese organization whilst you're in another country? Uh, yes, uh, we have a huge, uh, a huge Discord chat group and we just, I, I just interact with uh, Japanese mm. antinatalists. And uh, I also interact with some antinatalists on Twitter as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, and do you mind me quickly asking um, uh, how you got, how you became introduced to this subject and wanted to yeah. learn about it? Yes. Uh, well, um, to be honest, I don't quite remember how exactly I came to yeah. know about antinatalism. But um, you know, if you study veganism and animal ethics and the related subjects, I think you will inevitably encounter antinatalism, antinatalism at some point. Mm. And uh, yeah, so in recent years, I became more and more convinced of the interconnection between veganism and antinatalism. And uh, yes, yeah, so and then, and then last year, I decided to join um, antinatalism Japan. Mm. Yeah, it's it's interesting you were talking about the interconnectedness because um, I actually, uh, I recently just came back from Amsterdam in the Netherlands and uh, I was at a, a conference there with a friend and we spoke, we did a, a talk at this conference about the uh, relationship between veganism and antinatalism um, and misanthropy, but that like that's uh, that's another like thing to add on um okay cool so going back to the the questions um so uh what's it like talking about antinatalism in japanese society generally and what has your experience been talking about it in japan yeah um so um, many people tend to consider Antinatalist as extremist, so I think we have few opportunities to talk about antinatalism except on the internet. Um, in my case, when I told my mother about antinatalism, she said, "I've never thought about whether procreation is ethically good or bad." Mm. Um, also, I often see people who are against antinatalism say don't don't impose a personal thought on others um, without knowing they are usually I imposing naturism on others implicitly yeah yeah exactly yeah <laughs> i think that that's one of the funniest replies you get from people is um not to impose <laughs> things on people <laughs> it's so ironic um yeah so what are the uh actually um if you don't mind, I just wanted to ask a quick follow-up question to that. Um, and please, if, if you need to sort of answer it between you, then then go ahead. Um, I think this is this is maybe a question for, for both of you. Um, but um, what has your experience been uh, with friends um, rather than family uh, talking about antinatalism or do you sort of keep it to yourself mostly with friends um i i answered your that question in japanese um okay sure so um etto tomodachi ni etto tomodachi ni eh sono han shoushou shou nitsuite sono hanashita koto wa ないんですか。えっと、その、その両親にはその自分がその反出生しすぎっていうものをえ、その信じているっていうことをその伝えたことはあって。で、ま、それをきっかけにその、その両親に対してはそういうことをま、その、その話しやすくなったっていうことはえ
Oh, really? Oh, yeah. that, that's impressive. That's, that's good. あ、まあ、え、その追加で言うとその、その、ただ、その、その両親はその反出生主義に、について、ま、特にその賛成してるわけではそのないみたいですね。so um his parents do, do not really agree with this philosophy of antinatalism. Mm. Yeah. No, no, I get that. My my mine are the same. I think mo most people's probably would be. Um and and what about you Mia? Have yes. you yeah. Okay, like I think like well I I've never really discussed antinatalism uh with my friends or my family and it's I like, yeah, at, at least not, not in the real life. I, I, as I said, I, I only discuss this topic on Discord and Twitter. And yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, I get that. Um, cool. So um, what are the political attitudes towards procreation? Are there any sort of relevant laws or policies about it? Um, and I've heard that... Uh, isn't the Japanese government promoting childbirth due to a decreasing birth rate? Yeah. Um, uh, um, ultimately, my belief as an antinatalist is that no one should procreate, but that's not practical. So I think procreation should be limited only to eligible people who can satisfy criteria such as satisfactory income level or um, willingness to raise children because the, the foster care or adoption system has such conditions. Um, unfortunately, this is also not practical because um, highly effective birth control methods must be enforced on all citizens to achieve it. Um, in fact, the Japanese government has been promoting childbirth for a long time due to a decreasing birth rate, but it's not improving at all. And, and Japan is one of the countries with the lowest birth rate, so I hope that the birth rate will decrease more and more in the future and that more people will stop procreating. Mm. And I've just got a quick follow-up question to that. Yep. Um, you were you were saying that the government has, you know, promoted childbirth, but it hasn't actually worked. Um, is is there sort of um, are people scared uh, about this, or is this just the government are scared, or or are the general people are they also worried about this issue? So, eh, so, um, I'll answer the question in mm. Japanese here. Um, okay. Eh, to, ah, sorry, sorry. Eh, to, so, so, Kudo, san, just, eh, to, この質問の内容をちょっともう一回確認したかったんですけど、あ、えっとこのやっぱ出生率が落ちていることについてあの日本人がこう恐怖を抱いているというか心配しているのかただ政府が気にしているだけなのかっていう。あの、話ですね。えー、はい。えっと、えっと、まず出生率の低下をまあ気にしているっていうっていうそういうそういう話はあまり聞いたことはないというかまあただ単純にその子供を育てるにはそのすごくえっとお金がかかるっていう部分でその子供をえっとその産みにくい状況っていうのがその自然と
well, um, individual citizens don't really seem to be worried. Um, like we don't really take this as a serious social issue, but mm. uh, um, well, it, it's just that I mean, it's too expensive to raise children, and that's why uh, more and more people are ref- refraining from having children. And uh, yes, that's it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's like uh, it's an it's about like how expensive it is to raise them. Oh, yeah. Um, I've I've actually got another quick question. Obviously, you know, uh, talk talk between yourselves uh, about the answer. Um, what what exactly have the government been doing to try and encourage birth rates to increase? Have they, um, you know, put in new laws or have they put new incentives in place? You know, do they give people money, stuff like this? So, um, えっと、えっと、ま、ま、ずっと昔からやってることに関して あの、えっと、その、その打ち出されてるわけではないんですが、さらに、あの、その少子化対策に、あの、にその力を入れていくっていうことを最近その政府はその発表し、その発表していました。オッケー。あ、そう、あ、いや、そうで、ガバメントはずっと
Yeah, I, I think he actually has just um, released a new book um, and I think antinatalism is mentioned in it. It's I don't think it's on like specifically about antinatalism, but it 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 um it like mentions it. Um, I haven't read it, but I I saw he was sharing it in a in a Facebook group. Um, yeah, I'll I'll put a link to his. You said he um, published a book specifically about antinatalism, um, so I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, what um what was the, the sorry this is um going off the off the questions again um so again feel free to talk between yourselves um what was the general reaction to uh masahiro's book uh about antinatalism did it have any sort of wide public reaction or was it was it only antinatalists that knew about it So um, how you answer in mm. Japanese? Um, えっと、その森岡さんのその本に対するその反応としてはあのその反首相主義者のその視点で言うとえまあそのその結局その森岡さんはあそのその反首相主義者のその視点で言う その反首相主義者のえっとその視点で言うと結局森岡さんはその反首相主義に対してはま中立的な立場なのでそこまでそのその反首相主義者にとってその反首相主義者にとってま都合のいいことをそのま都合のいいというかそのその反首相主義者を
many people seem to have uh, felt that antinatalism is, is just too pessimistic. And uh, yes, yeah. so right. Mm. You know, not not everyone feels positive about this philosophy, yeah, yeah. but yes. But according to Chrono, uh, Professor Morioka takes um, a neutral position, as as he's just mentioned, and uh, so like the so it, it's not that the book consists entirely of uh, you know arguments for anti antinatalism, and uh, yes. So um, let's see. Yeah, so um, the professor's conclusion is that um, we should live with an you know an optimistic view uh, while having an antinatalist ideas or beliefs. And uh, yes, sorry, sir. Ato na nang katasta ho ga iko tari mas ka. Ah, eto sonna kaji de taishou desu. Yeah, so basically, he, he doesn't really promote antinatalism. Mm. He he just explains it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. So he he's not an antinatalist. He's just sort of interested in it. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, has has um, has antinatalism been discussed in like any Japanese media before? Like, has it you know been talked about on radio or on uh, the television or in newspapers at all? Yeah. Um. As far as I know, I've been seeing it several several times in newspapers and once on TV. And I think it was good that discussion about antinatalism was broadcast on TV. But I hope um more TV programs will be some uh, more TV programs will be made as I've only seen it only once so far. And do you remember why it was on TV? Was it because something had happened, and so they were talking about the 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 topic? Um, yeah. Do you know what like made them talk about it on TV? Um, I answer in Japanese. So, eh, <laughs> えっと、あの、だ、その、その本の影響だったりとか、その森岡さんがその話を主義をあの広めたことの影響はあのがあったんじゃないかなっていうふうに思います。お願いします。はい。Yes, there was no uh event or there there was no particular incident or event that led to the TV program, but uh that that program featured Professor Morioka and uh, he discussed antinatalism as an expert, and uh, yes, yeah, so so uh, Corona thinks that uh maybe the the book the uh, the book by Professor Morioka inspired some people to create that uh, the, to make make the program mm. you know that's um that's interesting um so we've we've mentioned it already uh in in the conversation but the the aapj which um i believe is the uh association of anti-procreation in japan i think is or may, i think it recently changed its name uh maybe unless i'm yeah 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 uh AAPJ is a, a previous name and Antinatalism Japan is a new one. Okay, cool. Uh, so <laughs> I have blasphemed by using the old name. Okay, so okay. Antinatalism <laughs> Japan. Um, what What is it and uh, what have they done uh, so far and what are their plans for the future? 
um, Anti-Naturism Japan is an organization which mainly aims to spread and practice anti-natalism in Japan. And we, we have been translating English documents or videos and answering the questions at a Q&A website. Um, also, I heard from it, its reader that we will try street activism this year. Mm. Cool. So I've got uh, two follow-up questions, if that's all right. The okay. the first one is, you said that you've uh, been translating from English certain videos and, and documents. Um, <clears throat> what have you been, what have you translated so far? And are you currently translating anything? So, 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 その僕、その僕自身はえ、その、その、まだ去年の12月にあの、この組織にその、入ったばっかりなので、えっと、まだ直接その翻訳の作業に関わったことはないんですが、あの、えっと、その、その聞いた話、えっと、その直接僕はその関わったわけではないんですけれども、そのこれまでにそのやったその組織全体としてやったこととして、あのこのローレンスさんとかがえその作り始めているあのこの反出生主義のそのこのえっとその反出生主義のハンドブックのあの英訳と
Yes. So we uh, up until last year we never had any opportunity to do those things. So this year we'd like to try some something new. Mm. No, that sounds um, interesting, and uh, I'll. Um, I'm sure when you when it actually happens, um, you know there will, like people will talk about it online and stuff. So it'll be um, interesting to see what what that's like. Um, I had one final question, um, and again, please talk between yourselves because it's it's not on the questions that I sent over originally. But I just wanted to ask, um, what are both of your sort of personal um, uh, aims on what you want to do in the future regarding antinatalism? If you have any sort of things that you're aiming towards or, or working on personally yourselves, anything like that? So, this is what I want 今後やっていきたいこととしては、あの、えっと、の、その支持者の人たちがその反落死を使ってそのまあ、この人生をあのえ、終わらせることのできる社会がま実現できればあの一番いいのかなというふうに思います。はい。では、そうですね。そう、あの、クロノスプライマリーゴールイズ yes. so, uh, to uh, legalize, legalize euthanasia in Japan, as he's mentioned. And uh, yes, so again, he wants to start a lawsuit mm. in Japan within a, a few years. And uh, yes, so he's hoping, to, he's uh, trying to uh, legalize euthanasia in one way or another. And uh, ultimately, I think th this is a bit uh, co controversial or sensitive. Uh, so he said that... Uh, he wants to uh, uh, help create a world where uh, supporters of antinatalism could uh, choose to terminate their lives if they wish to, mm -hmm. but by means of use, uh, le legalize the euthanasia. And um, yes, for me, as for me, well, um, I, I personally don't have any specific goal related to antinatalism and by the way um this organization antinatalism in japan makes a um, distinction between official members and members who are still trying to learn about antinatalism and i belong to the latter group and i i'm still learning and uh, so yes i don't i don't have any specific goal or vision at this mm. point but you know um so uh, my uh, website on veganism basically aims to explore various topics related to veganism. And so eventually, eventually I'd like to learn more about antinatalism and then maybe just spread um, information, ac accurate and logical and reasonable information concerning this philosophy. And uh, yes, that's it. like I, I, I don't, at, at least at this point, I, I don't really wish to, you know, convince other people to become antinatalists, mm. but I, I just wish to inform people because, you know, it's a, a very, um, very complicated but interesting uh, 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 philosophy. And uh, yes, I'm very, fa I'm really fascinated by it. So, um, yes, mm. basically, yes. Yeah, well, um, if, if you ever um, are writing about the relation between antinatalism and veganism on your website and you want any sort of um, 
uh, material to like look at about it and anything um mm -hmm. i can definitely uh, send you over the uh the work that i did with my friend um that i was talking about before that we presented at that conference mm -hmm. um okay, yeah, but obviously that that's completely up to you you know um uh, but uh yeah th thank you so much for both um coming on and and speaking about yeah. antinatalism in japan uh before we finish is there anything else that either of you wanted to add that you didn't think was covered by the questions uh, already? Um, 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 uh, I, I didn't, I didn't answer the reason why I become an antinatalist. Mm. So I, I answer the question sure. here. So, um, I. I've got um, I've got severely depressed three times in my life. Uh, the first time was when I was a high school student, and at that time I I learned about antinatalism on the internet for the first time, and I didn't become an antinatalist soon after that. But whenever I got depressed, my belief that we we shouldn't procreate, grew stronger. So um, when I when I got depressed for th for the third time last year, I decided to live as an I decided to live as an antinatalist. Mm. Yeah. yeah, no, that's um. Thanks for sharing that. That's really uh, interesting. I I think um, like quite a few people will uh, sort of dismiss um antinatalist is just like depressed people or they don't take antinatalism seriously if the person who is an antinatalist has been depressed or is depressed um <clears throat> because they think like oh they are depressed it's clouding their judgment but i think that is <clears throat> a a very dismissive way of of approaching the subject and very inaccurate as well because um I, I don't think that depression on this subject clouds someone's judgment. I, I think it actually adds, it, it's another argument for antinatalism because wh why would you want to, you know, put the risk or, or actual depression on someone else, you know, um, by creating them. So yeah, I, uh, th thanks for sharing that. And um mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I find it very annoying when people dismiss antinatalism as some sort of depressed, you know, thing. Um, yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, and sorry, Miu, did you have anything you wanted to add uh, before we finish? Well, I, no, I have nothing to add. Okay, no worries. Um, well, yeah, thank you again both for coming on and um, and also, you know, doing all the preparations that you did uh, for this as well and spending the time that you did. It's been... I really interesting speaking to both of you and um if if there's anywhere i'm not sure how much of a sort of online pre i mean you've mentioned kirano you've uploaded a video um on the sort of campaign that you're hoping to work on on miu you said that you're running this website um oh, yes. uh, i will obviously include links to both of those in the description is there anywhere else that people can sort of follow your work and what you do um and if there is um you know i'll include the links in the description but if you just want to share them here now just so that people know um i'll send the um link that i want to share after that so so um yeah i'll send the link after that sure and I, I'm on Twitter and on Instagram. I, I don't really use Instagram very frequently, but I, I'd happy to send you my links. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll I'll um I'll include them all in the uh in the description. Okay. Um, okay. but yeah, th uh, a final time. Um, thank you so much for coming on. And um, yeah, yeah. Thank you as well. Thank you for inviting us. <laughs>